let's uh, look at now five uh, a, a group of five elements so I have a group of five objects A B C D and E uh, what's the number of combinations of five objects taken three at a time so in other words how many subgroups of size uh, actually it should be three not two this number here should be three uh, how many subgroups of size 3 does the group A, B, C, D, E have? Everybody is okay with the definition of what a combination is, right? A combination of five objects taken three at a time is just a subgroup of size 3. So, um, Okay, so how do I answer that? Well, one way I can list them out. I can list, list out all possible subgroups of size 2. And we're going to do that in a second. Uh, but let's try to argue, let's try to find out how many subgroups of size 3 are there without listing out the elements. Okay? So, so let's let... Let's let x be the number of uh, subgroups of the set A, B, C, D, E. Number of subgroups of this of size it's not not two sorry three okay. that's what we want to find that's the number of combinations right that's the same as the number of combinations of five objects taken three at a time okay okay so how do I find that how do I find this number X so once again, we are going to ask ourselves uh, how many arrangements of five objects, uh, how many arrangements of, uh, how many ways can we arrange three objects taken from five objects? Is everybody clear? How many ordered arrangements of three objects are possible taken from five objects, right? Or in other words, what's the number of permutations of five taken three at a time? What was that number again? That would be P5, P53, right? P53 is what? Five factorial over 5 minus 3 factorial right so this is the this is the number of permutations of five objects taken three at a time what does that mean it means the number of ordered number of possible ordered arrangements of three objects taken from five objects right okay let's count it in a different different way I have X subgroups of size 3 if I pick a subgroup, how many ways can I permute the elements of that subgroup? If I pick a subgroup of size 3, how many ways can I uh, permute the elements of that subgroup? So what's the what is the number of ordered arrangements of the three objects in a subgroup of size 3? Three? 3 factorial, right? So for every subgroup, for, for uh, the, the elements of every subgroup can be uh, permuted in 3 factorial ways. The elements of every subgroup 
can be permuted in three factorial ways. So there are x times 3 factorial ordered arrangements of three objects taken from 5. Is that okay? Well, what is, that, what is x then? Yeah, very good. 5 factorial over 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. And let's do some arithmetic. This is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, over uh, 5 minus 3 is 2, right? So this is 2, 1, times 3, 2, 1. Uh, 3, 2, 1 cancels out. You get 20 over 2, which is uh, 10. Right? So there are exactly 10 subgroups of size 3. Right? So the number of combinations of 5 objects taken 3 at a time is exactly 10. So the number of combinations of 3, uh, sorry, 5 objects taken three at a time is ten. Okay, so let's list them out. Let's uh, list them out now. Uh, remember the objects, uh, the group that I have is A, B, C, D, E. That's the group I have. So let's list out all the subgroups of size 3 that are possible. Okay, I can have A, B, C, right? What else, what else is possible? A, B, C, A, B, D, A, B, E, Right? Uh, I can say A, C, D, right? A, C, E, A, C, D, A, C, E, right? Okay, I can say A, D, E, right? How many did I get so far? Six, right? I need four more, right? So what else can I get? How about B, C, D? B, C, D, B, C, E. B, C, D, B, C, E. How about B, D, E? And how about C, D, E? Did that do it? So this is, so I have uh, 10 subgroups of size 3. Okay. So now, generally speaking, uh, the number of groups of K objects uh, the number of groups of k objects that can be selected from a set of n objects. So you have a set of n objects and you are picking a subgroup of size k. Okay? Uh, that number will be denoted by n c k which, which, which will also be denoted by writing n k in a vertical column and putting parentheses around them. Uh, and that number is going to be n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. Okay, if you think about the two examples we did, we got, we, ha we used exactly that, that formula.
Okay, once again, what this means is again, remember the terminology combination. So this is saying the number of combinations of n objects taken k at a time um, is n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. Um, the way I read it is I say n choose k or n choose k. So this is how a lot of the times I will read this symbol n choose k because after all you are choosing k objects out of n objects, right? So how many ways can you do it? That's that this number. How many ways can you choose k objects from n objects? Is everybody okay? Uh, let's say if from this class, from this class, uh, we have 19 students here. And from this class, I want to choose, I want to create a committee of three people. I want to create a committee of three people. How many, how many, how many possible committees are there? If I want to pick a committee of three students, how many choices do I have? We have 19 students. Nineteen choose three, right? What is that? Nineteen factorial over Let's do the arithmetic. If you ever hear somebody say, let's do the math, or you, you always correct them, okay? Is that let's do the arithmetic. What's the number? 19 factorial over 3 factorial times 16 factorial, right? So what are you going to get? 19 times 17 divided by 3, right? 19, 17 over 3, right? What did you get? So we are saying 19 choose 3, right? So this would be 19 factorial over 3 factorial. And 19 minus uh, 3 is 16, right? So this would be 19, 18, 17 over 3 to 1, right? 16 factorial will cancel out. Well, maybe I should write 16 factorial here, and then I have 16 factorial in the denominator, and they cancel out. Uh, 3 to 6 cancel out, cancels out 18 as 3, right? So 19, 3, and 17, you multiply those numbers. What do you get? I'm sorry? 969 great right so I have if I want to pick a committee of size 3 I have 969 choices is that making sense all those choices are distinct it's not rearranging okay
Is, it, is everybody okay with that? Now, here's the uh, here's a. Uh, so when I'm, I'm pick, so if I am picking a committee of three students, and, and when I'm picking that, I don't really, I'm not trying to rank the committee members, right? There is no ranking of the committee members. So that's why the order doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter in which order I pick them. However, let's say that I am picking a committee of three students, and I want. Uh, one of them to be the president, one of them to be the vice president, the other one is the other one, let's say. Okay, not important. Okay, not so important position. So in that case, order matters, right? So in, in that case, uh, what's the, what, what is the total number of possible committees? Nineteen factorial? Over. What's the formula for this? So in that case, it will be the number of permutations of 19 students taken three at a time, right? 19 factorial over, which is 16 factorial, right? So 19 factorial over 16 factorial, what is that? That will be 19 times 18 times 17, right? And how big is that number? 5,814, huge number, right? So if I want to create a committee of three students where uh, the committee members will be ranked as president, vice president, and not so, not so important person, then I have over 5,000 different choices, okay? Is everybody okay with that? When you do the counting problems, one thing you always have to make sure of, does the order matter or, or, or it doesn't matter, okay? Terminology, the n choose k will be called the number of possible combinations of n objects taken, uh, taken k at a time. But like I said, I just usually say n choose k. Um, this is also known as the binomial coefficient and uh, in, in a little bit I'm going to show you why it's called the binomial uh, coefficient. Let's do an example. A uh, committee of uh, three people, a committee of three is to be formed from a group of uh, from a group of 20 people. Uh, I guess let's make this 19. That way we already know the answer. I guess we have done that. 19. How many different committees are possible? Well, we already answered that. That should be 19 choose 3. And what was the number again? 900 and? 969 okay from a group of five women and seven men from a group of five women and seven men how many different committees consisting of two women and three men can be formed So let's just answer the first part. The second part is, what if two of the men are feuding and refuse to serve together? Okay, let's first answer the first one. We have a group of five women and seven men, and we are picking a committee consisting of two women and three men. What what is the what are uh, what's the number of possible choices? Or what's the number of possible committees? Anybody?
Are you guys done writing it down? Can I move up a little bit? Or move down a little bit? Okay, how would you answer that? Anybody? So you're picking three men and you're picking two women, right? So how many ways can you do that? How many ways can you pick two women and three, three men? Very good. So remember, so basically we are asking, hey, how many ways can I choose three men? Well, there are seven men. From the seven men, I can choose three men in seven choose three ways. And I have five women. Out of that, we are, um, we are picking two. So there, there are five choose two possible ways I can pick two women and together then I have to multiply by the multiplication rule all the remember the basic principle of counting that's what we're applying here so here you can think of two tasks or experiments one is pick a pair of women the other one is pick three men right and those two tasks can be done together in uh, in five choose two times seven choose three ways, right? Is that making sense? I guess seven choose three and five choose three are, are clear to you. How many ways can I choose three three men? Well, seven choose three. How many ways can I pick two women? Five choose two. But then together, how how, how many ways can I do it? Right. The, the, there you have to apply the basic principle of counting or the multiplication rule. Is everybody okay with that? Now, I'll let you do the arithmetic there. <laughs> 